coach mentioned you, you got somewhere you're landing next year. Yes, I'm definitely really blessed to be in a football family. Um, I will be playing Oregon next year. Uh, blessed with a scholarship. I'm really excited about that. And you aren't the first Oregon product I've seen come out of this area in the last no, no. <laughs> only been here for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So my, my uh, older brother is also going to Oregon. So it's going to be a very exciting experience. Awesome. But, you know, we got, I know that Isaiah Rutherford, or not Isaiah Rutherford, Isaiah uh, <coughs> Crocker is there, Spencer Webb, a couple of local guys mm -hmm. from this area. What is it about Eugene that just draws you guys that way? Um, I think Auburn and this whole area just really is focused towards great football and I think uh, just tracks great football fans. Fantastic. Um, How does it feel to just kind of have that taken care of? Oh, well, it's a huge honor. I'm super blessed to have that and I'm very excited to be there. Awesome. Um, so you guys have a, a pretty rich history of football up there, mm -hmm. but um, what is it that keeps you guys so hungry and so competitive year in, year out? Um, Coach Montoya really drives us throughout the year, and I th his style of coaching really helps us just stay humble, but also want it. What is it about your team that has allowed you guys to be so successful this season? I think how close we are. I've been with this team for as long as I can remember. I've been playing since uh, I was 10, so eight years now. And almost all the guys I know have been on this team since we're playing little, little Mighty Mites. So, the bond that we have created and we've had has kind of pulled us all the way through, knowing that we'll be seniors one year and uh, finally here and it's able to happen. How cool is it to just have that opportunity to, to play with guys that you've grown up with side by side and not only to play with them, but to be a perennial power every year? Oh, it's amazing to have that. Um, I don't, not too many people get that opportunity to play with your friends ever since you were little. So an opportunity that we're all blessed with, and um, I'm glad I'm able to experience it with them. What has this season been like for you guys, and uh, what does it mean to be playing for another section championship? Oh, it means the world to me. I don't know. I wouldn't give it away for anything. It's a huge honor to get to where we are, and um, I'm glad I get to be with the people I love. Uh, what is it going to take for you guys to come out with the win over a tough team that's also undefeated? Um, we all need to do, as Montoya says, do your job. If everyone comes together and do your individual job uh, to the best of your ability, we'll be able to prevail. Uh, you were on the team last year. Mm -hmm. What is it like when you experience that loss to end the season mm -hmm. and to get back up and get back to work three weeks later? Well, this happened, so I was moved up uh, my sophomore year to play on varsity, so this is my third year. And uh, we made it to sections against Manteca, and we lost that game. And that really drove us the next year to just we need to get this, we need to get this. And uh, then we came in, won sections, and then it was just keeps rolling. And now I feel like it'll be the same experience this way. We made it all the way and now we really want it. What is it gonna take uh, for you guys to get the edge over a team? They, they can run the ball, they've got a, a great running back, and obviously they, they're hungry too. Oh, definitely, they're a great team, and uh, they'll be a great competition, but uh, I think with how well we prepare and the attitude we have throughout the week will really show on the field. What does this opportunity and this team mean to the Placer community? Um, well, it's such a tight-knit community that uh, they really come out and support, especially in home games. And we've been really blessed to have quite a few home games this year. And it's great to kind of go out on the field and look up and then stand and see like, oh, that's my neighbor. <laughs> so that's a pretty great experience right there. What's been the vibe like on campus, especially after that uh, that game to get to this moment right here? Tough one. Oh, well, that was definitely a fun game. Everyone dreams about a mud bowl. And um, to win the way we did was uh, truly an experience that I'll never forget. But uh, after that game, when you're jumping around, everyone's like, hollering, that's wouldn't give it away. <laughs> What would it mean to cap off this, this senior year, this ride with your brothers with a section title? Oh man, a section title would mean a lot. Kind of what you always talk about in the beginning of the season when you're bonding. Um, we went to a trip, uh, we went camping, Scott's Flat, and this was, we set our goals out for the season and this was at the top of the list. So it's, it's really great to see if we can check off that box. I'm anticipating a win, but it'll be great. It'll be really fun.
Anything else you want people to know about Placer Hillman, your season, um, Montoya? In the best times and the worst of times, it's great to be a Hillman. Beautiful. Are you, do you think you can handle the snow up in Eugene? Uh, I, I can handle the rain and the snow, yes. <laughs> <laughs> have you uh, been to Voodoo Donuts yet? I have. They're pretty good. Pretty good? Uh-huh. I like them. I like them quite a bit. Fantastic.